now the task we're going to talk about is inspecting fire doors. What we're going to talk about first is your safety hazards, any cautions or PPE you need to be wearing. PPE is still the same, your inspection and examination gear. Uh, some of the hazards, cautions, you want to make sure where you're at. If there are people around while you're closing or opening some of these doors remotely, uh, make sure that you have people segregated out so that they're not going to accidentally get squished when you're operating the stuff. When inspecting fire doors, there are several different types of fire doors you may come across. Typically, it's a single door that swings open closed. Sometimes you may have a double leaf door where two doors close together, or you may have a sliding door, which is what I'm standing in right now. Right now, I'm in between two main vertical zones on board the ship. When this door is closed, it effectively segregates the two vertical zones from each other. So first thing I want to do before we start getting into actually testing the door is I'm going to inspect to make sure everything looks good. I want to make sure the threshold on the deck, if there's carpet, it acts as the fire stop between the carpet, but if this was tile or like a uh, cement flooring, there doesn't necessarily need to be a metal uh, threshold like this. But I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to check up inside the internals. This is a pocket type door, so the door is actually in the bulkhead. But I can see in here and see the operating mechanism, to make sure it's clean, free of dirt, debris, trash. This is a passenger vessel, and sometimes passengers put trash and anywhere they can find, but I want to make sure that this door looks like it's going to operate unobstructed. And then involves both sides all the way around, up through the top, and everything looks good. The other thing I'm going to look for is a, remote, is a local operation. So over here, I have the fire door release from here. There's one on either side of the door, so you can open or close it from either side. This is something that we'll have the crew actually test for us. So now we're going to do an operational test of the sliding fire, tire, uh, fire door. Go ahead. So there should be an alarm that sounds for about five seconds before the door closes. That's to kind of give a, uh, an audible alert to people that, that may be in the way of the door. We're going to witness the doors close. They should be closing at a rate of 0.1 to 0.2 meters per second. And then on this door, one of the doors, there should be a, a safety bar. So that if somebody were standing here, the doors would stop and open no more than one meter before closing again. And this would be, you have a, pa a rush of passengers or people trying to get through the door, they accident, that's where they don't get squished together. Now the doors are closing. The doors can also be fitted with a hinged six inch by six inch hose port, typically the same material of the door uh, just verify that it, it works as well. So now we're going to look at a double swing fire door. So before we do the test, again, we're going to make sure everything looks like functionally it will operate, make sure our threshold is in place and good. There's no tripping hazards. There's no obstructions where the door won't close or will get jammed up on the close. A double leaf door is one where you have two doors that will close. This is the wide enough gap where you need two doors to cover it because one door is physically too big or too heavy. So the important thing with this is you're going to have them close together from 10 to 40 seconds is how long it should take to close. The big thing is this right here. This is called a sequencer bar. They come in different shapes and forms. This is how it is on this ship. Basically what this will do is this will hold one door open so that the first door can close before the second one closes behind it. So we're going to go ahead and operate this one locally because there should be one, a local switch here and then one on the other side of the door. This can also be remotely closed from the bridge. So now we're going to do a local test of our double swing fire doors. Hit the door release. Should see the first door close and stop on the sequence bar. The primary door will close first. Release the sequence bar. And the other door will close. Now you notice here these two discs, right? So on your fire doors, if there are holdbacks, meaning they are held in an open position, as you can see here, there is a magnetic holdback. So this is what actually holds the system back. So when we're actually operating the switch, it's demagnetizing that, which releases the doors and lets them close. The other thing is we want to make sure these doors close and latch. If they close together, but don't fully engage, like so, 
they need to be adjusted so they close fully. The reason is, is if there was a fire behind here, as it's burning and creating pressure, it can force the doors open and allow smoke and flame to pass through. We want to make sure they close all the way. If you come across a fire door that is closed to test it, all you do is open it all the way to fully open and let the door go and watch it close completely and latch. When we're looking at our fire doors, we want to try to find their label plate. For domestic vessels, this isn't a requirement, but for international vessels, the door has to be labeled what type of door it is. This one is an A60 door in an A60 boundary. To summarize the tasks we've been working on, inspecting fire doors, we talked about hazards, cautions, PPE while conducting the inspection. We talked about verifying a remote closing, and we also verify our local on either side of the door. Verify the door itself is free from obstructions and is looks like it's in an operable condition before we conduct the test. Talked about the different types of fighting, uh, fire doors, sliding and uh, self-closing, either double leaf or single leaf doors. We talked about some of the safeties involved in the doors and some tips and tricks. If there's anything I covered that you have questions about or anything you'd like to know more about, make sure you write them down and ask your local VO when we're done.